I have two mugs that I need to put handles on before I mess with my new underglazes. I'm so excited. I finally have underglaze to do that pitcher with the fish on it. That's a big mug. Check out how big this is. <laughs> it's a two-hander. I already stamped it with the logo. Just have to attach the handle, put the date and the number on it. I don't even know what number we're up to. I think we're in the 30s. I extruded some handles yesterday, which I made with the homemade extruder. There's a video that shows that. Um, it'll be up here. We can put it in the little circled eye. So you can see that video. I make handles and I bend them into shape and then I just let them rest in a, you know, Tupperware or whatever. There we go. We use another store bag. The clay is at the stage we call leather hard. I always want the handle to sit lower than the rim so that whoever owns it can turn it upside down to dry after washing it. You don't have to hand wash it. It's just, I find it um, nice to be able to set it on its rim. Okay, here we go. So I just mark off where that, where I need to score. I check the size, do I like the size? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I think I like the size. I'll, I'll continue to shape it a little after I get it on there. Give it a little wiggle right there. You can give it a little pressure from the inside. You know it's secure. Also probably pushes any air out of there, out of your join. like to look at it from the top. Adjust it now. Because later's too late. Look at it from all sides. See if it lines up. I like to make a bunch of handles all at once just to make it happen quicker. Mugs are not my favorite thing to do. I'd much rather be making bowls all day, all night. Bowls, bowls, bowls.
which is funny, you know, kind of trained as an artist, but I really like monotony sometimes. <laughs> I like to make the big bowls. I feel very proud when I make a nice big bowl. Because I guess uh, it was a real challenge at the beginning to make something big. It's much easier now. But extreme miniature is probably as difficult as making something very big. Nice. There's a little irregular bump here on the handle, and I'm just gonna heal that with the edge of this, I'm just gonna roll this tool on it. Heal that up. My sponge is damp and I'm just gonna give it a little smoothing. If you get grit on your fingers and there it lumps, it'll end up transferring to your surface. So it's better to keep your fingers pretty smooth. They can be damp, you just don't wanna transfer extra grit extra chunks of dry clay, which will just gouge the surface. Smooth the surface. Okay, now for shaping. I like a shape more like that, more like half a heart. Give it a good press and it'll probably stay there. There we go, give it a little more encouragement. I don't like a big blunt area right here at the base. I notice my fingers bump into it, so I like to smooth that down. But I still like to see, I still like to see a little extra holding it on there. Just shaping it a little more to my liking. You don't have to take all the uniqueness out of it, but a certain amount is nice. There we go. I'll bag it and, well. There's a little spot there I think I need to heal with the brush. Let me know in the comments what your favorite thing to work on is. Something you'd be willing to do all day if you could. I'd be on the wheel throwing and just trimming and somebody else could do my glazing for me. That would be fine. <laughs> there we go. I don't know what color this one's gonna be. Maybe that iron oxide and oatmeal combination that I love so much. Very nice masculine kind of colors, I think. Okay, so this one will be number 38. I still have trouble determining how many ounces a mug's gonna be when it's dry. They shrink with this clay by 11%. I'm just tapping it where the where there's a rumple in the plastic, make it nice and neat. All right. Just gonna clean up any irregularities before I set it out to dry. Beautiful. <laughs> 